All right, I have a uh, Lenovo T470P here that uh, won't power on. We'll hold the power button. So we will see if we can try and uh, figure out what to do to resolve that today. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna try and do is do a uh, hard reset by just holding the uh, power button for 30 seconds. See if that resolves it. That doesn't seem to be working. Okay, so the uh, hard reset didn't work. So the next thing we're gonna try doing is unplugging it and removing the battery. And to do that, we just need to slide these clips over and pop the battery off. We're gonna unplug that for 30 seconds and uh, try reinserting it and see if that solves it. All right, removing the battery didn't seem to uh, resolve the issue either. So next we're gonna open it up and uh, see if we can remove the CMOS battery and see if that uh, will resolve the issue. All right, to open up the uh, T470P, we just need to remove these uh, Phillips screws here. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll remove those eight screws. Once the uh, screws are removed, I'm just going to back out the battery again. And I'll probably also remove the uh, SIM card on the side here. There's just a little pinhole. I'm just going to pop that SIM card out. Alright, now that the screws are backed out, I'm just going to gently pry along the uh, edge here. And we'll pop the uh, lid off. All right, the uh, CMOS battery is right here, so I'm just going to disconnect this cable for about 30 seconds and uh, retry that and see if that helps. All right, so the next thing I want to test is make sure that I'm getting uh, 20 volt output as per the rating here from my power supply. Okay, so I have my laptop plugged in to the power, my battery disconnected. I'm just going to follow along this power cable here, and I can see that it's connected to this port here on the motherboard. I have my multimeter set to DC voltage, and I'm just gonna go and test for power on this MOSFET here. And I can see that I'm getting 20 volts. So that's uh, what I expected to see. So it looks like the motherboard is getting power. Okay, so we know we're getting power to the board, um, and we're still not getting the laptop to turn on. So I suspect that we have a hardware issue now, uh, maybe a short circuit or a blown component somewhere. So uh, the next thing we're going to do is just do a visual inspection of the board and look for any obvious signs of uh, burnt capacitors or burnt chips and see if we find anything. Okay, so we know we're getting power to the uh, motherboard. Um, as we can, we, we read 20 volts on the motherboard there with the MOS, MOSFETs. Um, so we likely have a short somewhere on the board in a cap or an IC somewhere. Uh, but I'm not going to troubleshoot that because this laptop is under warranty. So I'm not going to spend the time to work on that. But I am going to do a data recovery uh, because there's some data on this hard drive that I'd like to get, a, get at. Uh, so this is the hard drive here there's a screw there that i'm going to remove i believe that this is actually a pci nvme uh, hard drive uh, ssd hard drive that's just in a sata caddy so uh, we're going to take that caddy apart and get access to the the ssd okay so i'm just going to go ahead and remove that screw there okay once the screw is removed i should be able to just lift this up and slide it out just like that Okay, so I'm just going to flip this over, and according to the reading that I've done, there is a PCI NVMe M2 um, 2280 stick under here, SSD stick. So what I'm going to do is just remove these two screws, this one here, and that one right there, and remove this top plate. Alright, so we now have access to the PCI uh, NVMe stick, and uh, we just need to remove this screw here, and we should be able to slide it out. Okay, so it just pops up, and then we can slide it out. All right, so I picked up a uh, M2 NVMe adapter from Amazon. Uh, so all we need to do now is remove this side piece here and push it through. And then we can have, get access to the, uh, the little bay here where we're gonna actually insert our SSD card. Okay, so next we're gonna insert our SSD drive carefully in there. And then we're gonna use one of the plugs that was provided to secure it to the board. OK, 
Okay, we can replace the enclosure. And insert the USB cable that was provided. And hook this up to our laptop and we should be able to read the drive. All right, once our USB adapter is hooked up to another laptop, we can go ahead and hook it up and it should show up as a, a USB drive on that machine. And then you can simply just copy and paste the files from uh, the drive to the new laptop. In my case, I actually had BitLocker installed on the drive, so the drive was encrypted and I did not have access to my keys, uh, but thankfully they're stored in the Microsoft Cloud. So if you do have BitLocker and uh, you need to decrypt the drive to read it, you can go to this uh, URL, account.activedirectory.windowsazure.com slash r slash pound slash profile, and it will give you a list of your devices, and you can click on the device name and then get the BitLocker keys. Uh, once you get the keys, you can enter it and uh, you'll be able to access the drive in a decrypted format. Um, so hopefully this video helps someone uh, resurrect data or uh, retrieve data from a drive uh, with a laptop that is uh, no longer turning on.